Remix. Rice and Spice, very nice. Best in ducky, no word of a lie. Been here now three or four times. Get yourself down here and have a good time. This time I was invited down to join Liam Miley Eats on his video. So we got straight into the kitchen. Full video coming out in the next couple of weeks, but this is just a little taster on my tits up for now. Way. Look at them flames. Man's got four or five curries on the go at once. I don't know how they do it. Smells were unreal in this kitchen, mate. I'd be even fatter than I am if I worked in one of these. I'd be eating everything. Just wow, looks all amazing. All the meats in the tandoor there, nicely cooking, piping hot, wow. Maybe that's why they're not fat though, you know what I mean? Because working in these hot conditions will make me sweat like mad. Look at that, five curries on the go there. They're all so different, look so nice, wow. So here he is now, he's making the keema now, and you missed it at the start. My bad, I missed it, but he put the keema in there and then he's rolling it all out. Bosh, how clever. And then straight in the tandoor, look at that. Whew. Next level. Chef's on one again, making our curries here. Off four different ones on the go again. How they do it, multitasking, I'll never know. I struggle to cook one thing at a time, but maybe that's why I'm not a chef. Look at that, perfectly cooked chicken, wow. That is amazing. I could have just took that home in a rucksack and that could have done me for the night, you know what I'm saying? Some more shots of the curries cooking. Lovely jubbly. Onto the coconut rice. <sighs> nice and sweet, wow, look at that. Not just like me, you know, where you bang it in the microwave. This is proper stuff. Jeez. All the colouring in there. That's the most gorgeous rice I've ever seen. Looks amazing. It tastes it too. It was the first time I tried coconut rice. It was very sweet. Complimented the spicy curry so well. Wow. More food on the go. Jeez. I was in my element here. I was starving. I've not had much all day for this. So here's the food. This is a chicken risotto. First time I've ever tried this. At first it tastes quite sweet, but then you get a nice kick. It was well nice. Here's the Afghani. Very nice and spicy. Lovely flavors. Beautiful. Here's the lemon rice, weren't for me this, too lemony, not to sound obvious, but it's there for some people who enjoy that stuff. The sag, a lovely vegetarian dish, no artificial colours, very nice and tasty actually, surprised me. The vegetable rice there, standard, we all love that, can't go wrong with that. Garlic naan bread, can't go wrong with that. Massive roti, massive keema naan there, now it's been made properly. That's the coconut rice I talked about earlier. The mixed grill sizzler, a bit of donkey dick there, a bit of chicken tikka again. Everything was popping, mate. So good. This was the Balti Exotica. This one stole the show for me. Lamb chops, lamb chicken, all in an amazing tasty sauce. Wow, look at that for a feast. Jeez, fit for kings, foodie kings. Pardeshi chicken, first time trying this as well, a nice starter. It was well nice, lacking a bit of spice for me, but apparently you can ask for extra, so I'm gonna do that next time. Cocktails or mocktails, should I say? Strawberry daiquiri. You had the pina colada, mojito. Mate, these were banging, so refreshing after a spicy curry. Exotic drinks with exotic food, you can't beat it, mate. If you do want real alcohol though, you can nip in the shop next door. 10% off beer if you're dining in here. Bring your own booze and they've also got this other wide drink selection if that's what you want. Again, rice and spice, absolutely loved it. It's a hidden gem, doesn't get mentioned enough. Give it a try if you never have unreal food, unreal staff, everything.